Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a number of ways to troubleshoot and possibly fix the most common webcam problems in Windows 10. Such issues may range from not seeing the camera app entirely when you search your windows, or upon launching your camera app, it gets stuck on this blue camera launch screen and never shows any images, or it gets past this stage and shows an error message such as this, it says something went wrong and then it gives off some error code or like in this other case it pops this black window which says we can't find your camera check to be sure it's connected and then we also have the scenario where your windows camera app works fine but when you connect to zoom or skype or some other video applications they are not able to launch your camera and then we have this rather strange scenario as well where the camera is sort of flipped so your images appear upside down in some of these situations, you may notice that you are not able to see your camera among the devices in the device manager. Now, the solutions in this video are equally applicable for both the built-in webcam on your laptop and the external USB webcam that you can attach to your laptop or desktop. There might be a little bit of differences in the procedures for troubleshooting a built-in camera compared to an external USB webcam, but I will be highlighting those differences as we proceed with these different solutions. And now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first it's important to mention that most webcams are usually designed to configure automatically when you plug them in. As such, they would install the required drivers automatically and you can begin to use them right away. For built-in cameras, they are usually attached to your computer motherboard using some sort of cables, usually quite tiny cables with connectors on both ends. As such, issues with your webcam can be either hardware or software related, or both in some rare cases. So here I've arranged these fixes in the order of complexity, so you can start off with the simpler fixes before advancing to the more demanding ones. Now for most people, the only time they get to use their webcam is during video calls or online meetings through third-party apps like Zoom or Skype or some other video apps. So for such situations where you are unable to access your camera when using such third-party apps, the first suggestion would be to check that such apps are allowed to access your camera under your Windows privacy settings. To do that, go to your Start menu and click on the gear icon to open your settings. On this window settings page, click on Privacy. And on the left pane, click on Camera. Here you have the option to allow or not allow camera on your device entirely. So first ensure it says Camera Access for this device is on. If not, click on Change and allow your device access to the camera. Then next, you want to ensure that the option to allow apps to access your camera is turned on. You can simply flip this switch here if it's not already on. Then, finally, you need to check through your individual apps to be sure that the app you are trying to use camera on has camera enabled for it. So here I have mine turned on for Skype. And below here, I also have it on for Zoom. Here, as you can see, Zoom is under desktop apps category. So you need to have the entire category turned on to enable Zoom to get access to your camera. So automatically, I have my camera turned on for character animation as well. And by the way, you can see that I have turned off camera from all apps that I don't need it on. This not only ensures your privacy, as I showed in the previous video, it also helps to reduce unnecessary background processes that could be taking up system resources and slowing down your computer. So with the camera now turned on for your required apps, check again to see if your camera now works properly again. If not, you can proceed with the next suggestion. Now, this next suggestion is mainly for situations where your default Windows camera app shows up in the search, but it's not able to launch your camera. So you are either stuck on this blue camera window or some black window saying something went wrong or we can't find your camera. This could also fix the case of having your images flipped upside down. Now, for these cases, the first thing would be to run a full Windows update. This is recommended especially if you start experiencing this issue after a fresh Windows installation. As I mentioned earlier, a vast majority of webcams are designed to configure automatically once attached to your motherboard, either through the USB or some other connectors. So if for some reason they don't get configured automatically, then running a full Windows update in a way is like reminding Windows to do what is necessary to get your camera and other devices working properly again. Now remember to restart after running the update so as to fully implement the solution. For external USB cameras, you might need to visit your manufacturer support page to download the required drivers or check your package to see if it has a CD with the drivers and then install accordingly. 
Now also ensure that the camera is properly hooked up to the USB port. Needless to say that any issues with the physical connection would hinder effective operation of your camera. You can also try to use a different USB port on your device to be sure that it's not a physical connection problem. Now if you still don't have it working, then you might want to test with some other computer to see if it's an issue with the computer or your camera before proceeding with the other suggestions. The third suggestion would be to simply reinstall your camera driver without deleting the driver software. This would help to resolve issues resulting from corrupt drivers or some error during an update. To reinstall your camera driver, right-click on your Windows Start icon and select Device Manager. On the Device Manager, search for Camera or Integrated Camera or Imaging Devices. Click on the arrow to the left to see your actual camera driver. Now right-click on it and select Uninstall Device. Here ensure you do not check the box next to delete the driver software for this device if you have that option. Then hit uninstall to complete the process. After uninstalling, restart your computer. Now upon restarting, Windows will automatically reinstall the drivers again. Afterwards, check to see if your camera works properly again. If the issue continues, the next suggestion is similar to the previous except that this time we will also be deleting the driver software. Now before implementing this suggestion, ensure your computer is connected to the internet. Only then would you be sure that it will automatically download and install back the required drivers. Now sometimes this would work without an internet connection, that is for situations where you have multiple versions of the driver software already on your computer. So by uninstalling a particular version and deleting the current driver software, it forces Windows to automatically install another version of the driver from the stored drivers. But if you do not have stored drivers on your computer and you delete the current driver, then you would need an internet connection to download and install the needed drivers again. If not, you wouldn't have any drivers to run your camera. Now the idea of deleting the current driver is to force Windows to install a different version of the driver because sometimes you get an incompatible driver version and that could be causing such issues with your camera, especially issues like your image being flipped upside down. So by uninstalling and deleting the driver software, you signal to Windows to try another version and that could possibly solve the issue. To uninstall and delete the driver software, go back to Device Manager, right-click on the camera once again and select Uninstall. Now here, check the box next to delete the driver software for this driver and hit Uninstall. After uninstalling, restart your computer once again and check to see if the camera now works fine. If not, proceed with the next suggestion. Here we'll be manually downloading and installing the required camera drivers. Now this procedure would vary on your computer depending on the model and manufacturer. The idea is to visit your manufacturer support and download the required camera drivers. It's advisable to always download drivers from the manufacturer support page whenever possible. This is the most reliable way to obtain genuine drivers that do not pose any security or malware threats to your computer. There are also some reliable third parties out there you can try downloading from but it's of course best to download from the manufacturers. Now for this Lenovo ThinkPad T530, I will simply search Lenovo ThinkPad T530. Then click on the link from pcsupport.lenovo.com. On this page, I will ensure it's on drivers and software. And here I will click on manual update. Then look for where it says camera or camera and anything else and click on it. Now here I have drivers for integrated camera and below I have some card reader drivers and then another integrated camera driver as well. Now I'll click to expand. And here I have more details, including the version. Some manufacturers will provide multiple versions and might even indicate what problem each version resolves. So from there, you might get a hint on which version could resolve your issues. You can also compare the available versions with the version you have currently installed. You can check your current version by right-clicking on the camera from the device manager and then select properties. And then driver. Here, as you can see, I have version 10.0.1. Meanwhile, the current version on the support page is 10.0.3. So if I'm having any issues with my camera right now, I would download and install this newer version to see if it will resolve the issue. 
Also, you can see that there is another camera driver here as well. So I could also try that if for some reason the current one doesn't resolve the issue. So you can try multiple drivers to see which one resolves your problem. With that, the next suggestion would require making some changes to the Windows registry. Now, this will likely resolve the issue if you started experiencing this problem after installing some Windows update. So for that, go to your Windows search and type registry. Select registry editor from the search results and hit yes on the user account control. On the registry editor, expand the folders in the following order, beginning with the HK local machine, then software, WOW6432 node, Microsoft, Windows Media Foundation, and then Platform. Now on this Platform folder, right-click on a blank space to the right, and point to New, then select the word 32-bit value. Here, right-click on the created file and rename it as Enable Frame Server Mode, as shown on the screen. Then, double-click on the file and change the value data to zero. Now, close the file and then close the registry and restart your computer. And that is it for this tutorial. You will find a link to the written version of this tutorial down in the video description. There, I try to update these solutions as I discover other ways to fix the problem. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.